hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am giving you guys a quick little review hokas versus on cloud shoes i know it's been trending on tiktok everywhere and you know what i actually bought these because my feet were killing me the other day and i was like i need some better shoes that is how i discovered this battle hokas versus on clouds so i'm going to give you guys my honest review and then let you guys be the judge which ones you should get okay so quick little story um my feet were killing me like a month ago i was just like i couldn't walk honestly i thought i needed to go to the doctor and something was wrong and i was gonna need like a stero shot on my um heel because it was hurting so bad i do suffer from something in my feet i forget the name it's like really long and weird plantar file i'll leave it here it's like so long i never remember what it is but i do suffer from that and that is why i need like really good shoes and I'm gonna be honest, sometimes good shoes are not cute, you know? And I tend to ruin my feet because I want those shoes, you know what I mean? So anyways, my husband told me about Hoka's because he buys Hoka's all the time. And we went to Nordstrom, I saw them. I was like, you know what, let's give them a try. I don't know, like, what can I, what, it can't hurt, you know? So I was like, let me give them a try. These, as you can see, they are pretty used already. I've had them for like around a month, a month and a half. Yeah, like a month, a month and two weeks. And these are the Hoka's um, Clifton Nines. These are so cute. Don't get me wrong. They're very cute shoes, but they're very um, sporty. Like, I'm not going to, I can't dress up. Like, they always, I can't dress them up. They're always going to be sporty. It has that look. They're sporty shoes. Very comfortable. Also, now that I have these, I noticed the difference. So that was the story with these. I needed these. I bought them. I love them. Nothing wrong with these. These are the Clifton Nines. But then I wanted a white pair. And um, I ordered these in, not the Clifton. I ordered from Hoka's these white ones. As soon as I put my foot on them, I was like, no, I am returning these. These are hard. They were these, but like in a, like the um these are fabric those were like hard and like you can like wipe them down and stuff i hated those i'll probably link those here in the description not because i hated those means you're gonna hate them okay that was just my preference as soon as i put my foot in i was like these are not for me i returned them so then i was still on the hunt for like the white shoes then i saw on tiktok that the hokas versus on cloud battle and i was like i'm gonna give them a try like why not so i ordered these these are the monster ones and they have like so much cushion. And honestly, like on the website, I was like, they might have too much cushion. Like for my tennis shoes, I don't wanna feel like I'm wearing like a stilettos. I wanna be able to run. I have two little kids and I need to be able to run in case anything ever happens, like I'm running. And I didn't wanna, like on the website, they just look like it had so much cushion that I was gonna feel like out of balance no that's not the case you guys <laughs> they're pretty normal that was just the website when they came i'm like okay i can do these i'm not gonna like twist my ankle if i have to run after my kids or anything i love these i am in love with these now one versus the other that is why we're here let me give you the tea you guys if your foot is wide you're gonna love these because these have like a wider um feel to it they're gonna be better for a wider foot my foot is not wide my foot is more narrow so that is why i love these because these hug my foot a lot better so it's all gonna be depending on your foot and your preference if your foot is narrow i feel like you should go with the on clouds because they're just gonna hug you in all the right places these are so comfortable they're both equally as comfortable these are so comfortable however because my foot is narrow it is not hugging my foot. My foot, it's not even touching my foot. You know what I mean? Like my foot is pre pretty much like going everywhere on the shoe. And I don't like that. I want my foot to be hugged at all times. I don't want any extra room or any extra space. That is me though. My husband always likes extra room and extra space because we're all different. I don't, I want my shoe to be like really good like hug me and don't let me go you know if i run i don't want to lose my shoe i don't want to be worried about like is my shoe gonna fall off not that this shoe is gonna fall off but you know what i mean um when it comes to like comfort they're both the same but different so these honestly i was taking them the other day around walmart and i was like oh my gosh it felt like 
I wasn't even walking. I know that sounds so crazy, but I'm like, it feels like my foot wasn't even touching anything. Like I got home and I'm like, did I even walk? Like, what was that? And these are also comfortable, but obviously like you do feel like you're walking, you know what I mean? But when you do walk, you do get that maximum cushion as well. So honestly, to be honest with you guys, will I buy Hoka's again? I don't know just because of the way they hug my foot. Although they're very comfortable, I'd rather go with the on clouds just because of the way they hug my foot. That's it. And not all on clouds are going to be amazing. Now, these, the monster cushion ones, these I would repurchase again in every color. I haven't um, had any experience with any other ones, so I can't tell you if like all of them are going to be just as amazing. I'm only comparing what I have here. Will I buy these again? Yes, yes, yes. Definitely in every color, I'm gonna get them. I feel like these, I can dress them up, I can dress them down because they're not so wide. I feel like they look cuter, you know what I mean? Like I just feel like these look a lot cuter than these. These are more like your basic tennis shoe. You cannot really like dress them up. Any outfit you wear, it's gonna look sporty. These, I feel like I can dress them up or down and you know, it doesn't really matter. now. That is just my personal opinion, and that is why I wanted to make a quick video, just in case you guys are like me and kind of like, you don't know which ones to get. Honestly, it depends on your foot. Um, I would compare the Monster ones with the Clifton because um, I know that the, I know Hoka has like other ones, like other bio, bios or whatever, I don't know, but different um, within the brand, different like styles and stuff. These are the ones I have, and I found that these were like the most comfortable ones in both lines. So it really depends on your foot, but definitely I would stick to, if you're gonna go with Hoka, go with the Clifton Nines. If you're gonna go with the On Cloud, go with the Maximum Cushion ones. And I'll link them here in the description so you guys can kind of see the price. Price-wise, they were toe to toe. They were like the same price, you guys. So price-wise, you're not really like saving money one versus the other. I believe these were like, 182 and these were like 185 i'm not 100% sure i'll link all the prices in the video here or on the description that way you guys know but the savings wasn't much it's gonna be depending on your foot and depending if you want to be able to dress them up or down as well so i hope you guys enjoy this really quick review um if you did don't forget to hit the like button and i hope i get to see you guys on my next video have fun shopping for your new shoes